Okay, what's going on guys? Let's do this problem right here. The first question is asking, a frictionless pendulum clock on the surface of the Earth has a period of one second. On a distant planet, the length of the pendulum must be shortened slightly to have a period of one second. What is true about the acceleration due to gravity on the distant planet? Now let's see how we can find that one out. So first of all, if we take this equation, the period e equation for a frictionless pendulum is going to be t is equal to 2 phi square root of L over G, right? So initially we had one second. Then they are saying in the distant planet, let's say this is a t in prime or something. And in the distant, distant planet, we have to slightly reduce this L value to get the same answer. It means the g value also low that's why we have to reduce this one right for example if this is 2 over 10 ratio and if this is 1 we have to put 5 right here to get the same ratio so this means this gravity is less than this one that's why we have to reduce the length right so from this one we know that this is less than the planet's earth's gravity now let's look at the answers we cannot tell because we don't know the mass of the pendulum. Not true. Uh, the, gravi the, gravitational, the gravitational acceleration on the planet is slightly less than g. That's true. The gravitational acceleration on the planet is slightly greater than g. Not true. The gravitational acceleration on the planet is equal to g. Not true. So the answer is b. Now let's look at the second question. The simple harmonic oscillator has an amplitude of 3.5 centimeter and the maximum speed of 26 centimeter per second. What is its speed when the displacement is 1.7 centimeter, 1.75 centimeter? Now let's see how we can figure it out, right? So first of all, the speed of an object in simple harmonic motion at any displacement can be found by this equation. V is equal to omega square root of a square minus x square. Here x is distance, a is amplitude, omega is angular frequency. Now amplitude, let's look at the given informations. Here they are saying we have the amplitude right here and also we have the displacement. So we have these two informations. We have to find out the omega and here they have given the maximum speed, right? So maximum speed v max is equal to a omega. So this is generic equation. V max is provided, amplitude also, we have the amplitude also right here. So from this one, we can find the omega. Omega is equal to V max divided by A. And V max is 26 centimeter per second. And amplitude is 3.5 centimeter. If you divide this one by this, you should get 7.428 radians per second right now we have the omega now we can go ahead and plug this in this equation to find the speed now let's go ahead and plug it 7.428 and since this is in centimeter per second we don't have to convert this one into meter we can keep it as centimeter and solve it right so this is going to be 3.5 square and then displacement is 1.75 square and if you calculate this one you should get 22.5 centimeter per second so the answer is going to be C now let's look at the third question third question is asking a machine part is vibrating along x-axis in simple harmonic motion with a period of 0.27 second and a range of 3 cm at time t is equal to 0, it is at its central position and moving in the plus x direction. What is its position when t is equal to 55 seconds? So here they are asking for the position. So for a position we use this equation x is equal to a sin omega t. Right Now let's look at the given information. We have the time provided. Amplitude since they are saying the range is 3 cm, we can find the amplitude because amplitude is range divided by 2. So this is going to be 3 divided by 2, that's going to be 1.5 cm. So this is our amplitude and omega. 
we have the period period is 0 0.27 second omega is equal to 2 phi over t so 2 phi over period 2 phi divided by 0 0.27 second so that's going to be our omega now we have all the information now let's go ahead and plug it right here we have 1.5 centimeter since the position is in centimeter we don't have to convert the units we can keep it as centimeter and solve it right so here we are going to have sine instead of omega we can plug this one 2 phi over 0 0.27 second times the time is 55 seconds and if you change your calculator into radians mode right radians mode and plug all these values you should get negative 1.437 centimeter so the answer for this one is going to be second one so that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time